everyone and welcome back to my page. Today we're going to be talking about the Z170 Stinger, a board from EVGA that has not been released yet for the Mini ITX form. And uh, as you guys know, over the last few years I've built some very incredible systems with the ASUS ROG Mini ITX board. Um, and that was state of the art at the time. And I was very disappointed when ASUS decided to not release a premium board, but a mid-class board for the new Z170 uh, Mini ITX form. And um, so when I saw that the EVGA had done their homework and figured out that this is a an incredible group of people that are building these systems, my systems have been award-winning. I hold the 3D Mark record for a 960 card using an, uh, a mini ITX form factor board and very proud of that and you know I, I can't use a, a lower style or a lower board in order to achieve overclocking speeds they're gonna give me world records so I'm really excited to see the ZI the Z170 Stinger um, they're saying performance refined but it's a little more than that uh, let's go over the specs here real fast in here and they're gonna with the Intel Z170 chipset it is going to give you a lot of uh, um, new features that are gonna be really nice uh, the overclocking you know we're, we're kind of seeing that there's not much uh, in the way of um, overclocking between the current generation and now the new new generation of Intel chips however it does have a lot of neat uh, aspects from voice activation lower performance on the uh, uh, energy consumption which allows you to kind of overclock now down here if you kind of look the they're saying EVGA that is going to be good for uh, overclocking well you know I've come to the realization that overclocking has to do a lot with the cooling of the chip in order to get that done and I think what EVGA is trying to say is you don't have the ability to overclock this board because just the size form factor that we have here kind of kind of limits that well I I beg to differ with them a little bit there is uh, ways that you can do this and a, a competent mini ITX builder can uh, really get a great uh, overclocking on their system without too much uh, difficulty so but one of the nice things that I like about this is the fact that I'm going to be able to use DDR4 two DIMMs dual channel DDR4 3200 megahertz plus. The plus means that we're going to be able to overclock this thing. Uh, memory overclocking is great. It does, it, the trade-off really isn't that much, but DDR4 does give us better bandwidth, uh, should increase our, our performance some in the uh, frames per second and performance aspect. But this little guy right there, bing, 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 32 gigabytes of available memory we can put on it. Sure, we're not going to be using the quad channel of the DDR4, but uh, the dual channel DDR4 with 32 megabytes, you can make a RAM drive. Now, what does a RAM drive do? It's going to allow you to take what we normally wouldn't have in the earlier generations board and gives us a little bit more um, um, speed because what we're going to do is we're going to take the we're going to take the uh, hard drive out of the equation the SSD all of it memory is the fastest thing that we have on our systems and if we can load into that and make a RAM drive with say 16 gigs load the entire program or game that we're using onto this virtual RAM drive uh, we will be able to really speed up the the um, aspect of our of our system and uh, you'll see in other videos that I've made that I've talked about how to build a RAM drive so this right here 32 gigs is is phenomenal for the mini ITX builder and I think that is that is great um, you know I really really enjoy the the design of this uh, for $199.99 this to me is the best way to go uh, the ROG had its day, um, but uh, ASUS really dropped the ball. EVGA picked it up and is running down the, the court. Wait till you see the, the pictures of, of this board and just see how nice it is. The, the fit and finish of the board is absolutely incredible. 
The uh, cover that goes over your I.O. ports is really, really nice. The reset and power buttons, uh, we'll show those in a second here. Your installation guide, uh, specs, blah, blah, blah. Some of the internal stuff for the uh, M.3 and video card expansion here, which is fantastic. Again, they, they've really gone out of their way to give us a better board and... Um, I'm, I'm super impressed with what EVGA has done with this Z170 board. I mean, look at the, look at the heat sink here. Uh, it's just, it's massive. It really is going to allow us to, to overclock this more than I think EVGA really understands. And I can't wait to get my hands on it. I've got four of these boards pre-ordered. I'm just screaming and wanting them so bad. I can't wait to build this system. And then the, the uh, uh, LED on the board for the readouts, uh, motherboard readouts here, which is fantastic. Again, we got the reset button and the power button here. We've got our four SATA 6 ports, which I think is in kind of a neat spot. Um, and then what they've done here, and it might not really look a lot to you guys right here, but as a, as a uh, world-class builder of mini ITX systems, I kind of understand what they're doing. You see how they've placed the all of the wiring, wire loom, items out to the outside. This makes for a very, very clean install with the correct uh, case. And you can make an incredible looking rig with this thing. This is going to be just beautiful. I can't wait to do it. I've got a plan called Black, black Chrome, uh, Sludge and Chrome, that is gonna be a completely water-cooled CPU and GPU uh, system. And if I'm really, really excited about it, I think I might even do that memory as well. But uh, we've got our two DIMM slots here for the DDR4 memory, and of course our, our bus here for our video card uh, classic uh, layout here. Here's a better view of what's going here. Your SATA, your SATA ports here, which is great. Um, you know, the, here's, your, here's another heat sink for you over your chipset. Um, everything is so laid out, printed beautifully. The beautiful board, it's just gorgeous. It, I mean, to look at the look at the bridge over here over your I/O ports, it is a brushed aluminum look. It looks fantastic, and look at the size of that heat sink. I mean, overclocking. I think we're not going to have a problem with this. I think uh, we're going to see performance gains out of this thing that are just going to blow really people's minds. So, fan headers. We've got three fan headers. Um, I use about seven fans in my mini ITX system, so this will definitely. I'll have to do some splitters here in order to get this done. And then here's our USB 3 port right here, uh, which is great. And then if you take a look right here, what is that? That right there is a vertical, a vertical M.2 slot. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that little, um, uh, let's go back to the accessories here, this right here, this right here, and this right here, and you're gonna put this down on your board and now you have a vertical M.3 slot. Now I know that uh, uh, some of the manufacturers have had a lay down. I'll go to the back of this board. They've had a lay down board that goes right here. Most of my my M.2 uh, M drives I've used have been on the back side of the motherboard slide. And it's a very nice slimline feature but uh, something that you really don't uh, doesn't add any aesthetic to it and I think this right here goes vertical gets up in your face shows everyone hey this guy's got an M.2 in there you know you want to be proud of your system you want to show off your stuff you don't want to stuff it in back and this board is all about the bling it's all about showing it to you um, 24 pin of course power supply there the back of the board is just as beautiful um, it's a lot going on on this back of this board a lot going on that's uh, pretty cool um, and again, here's the I/O ports. Uh, of course, your your all your USBs, your video in and out, your LAN, blah 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 blah. We all we all know that. Um, one of the nice things they've done is they've isolated the audio in this as well, which is really a nice feature. Um, going from a ROG buyer to a EVGA Z170 Stinger buyer, I, like I said, I cannot wait for for this really to to happen. Uh, let's go to the memory support here and CPU support. They have really done their work with this. I mean, look at everything that has already been authorized for this. 3200 megahertz, 
you know, 4G. This this stuff is fantastic um, for the memory. The CPUs, of course, the uh, i7 6700K and the i5 66K. If you're going to go for it, go for the big boy. Um, do some overclocking. But, I mean, this is just, hey, throw it at it. I like to use a Vixer Raider, uh, Raiden series memory. Um, never had a problem with it. And um, so I'm real excited about what we're, we're seeing here coming from EVGA um, now with their, their new systems. And uh, um, what, what else can I say? It's a 10-layer board, the solid-state capacitors, which if you don't have that now, you don't have anything, an 8-channel high-definition audio. This thing is amazing. Um, but it all comes down to, yes, we're going to be able to to use the uh, uh, 32 gigabytes, make a RAM drive with it, it's fantastic. They've increased the amount of gold they put in this by 150%. This is not a cheap board, guys. This is, in my opinion, the best board of the generation of the Z170s right now, and they back it with a three-year warranty. So um, get on the bandwagon. As soon as this drops into your local store, grab it start building this system and see what you can do with it i think you guys are really going to love it if you like this review uh please go to my uh, uh subscribe uh thumbs up thumbs down it really helps me out and if you really get ambitious click on the the ad to help me out a little bit here but uh um so i can continue to build and and uh make my my uh, web youtube page better for you guys so um this is just uh uh, an amazing system and and here's everything and you can go to their website this is what we did we just went to their website now but uh everything you need to know to get ready to build your next uh, mini itx is right here and uh, you guys will really 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 enjoy what they've put together here um asus dropped the ball and i think the evga team picked it up and is going to run it for this generation this is the go-to board for the next generation of mini ITX builders out there. So I can't wait to see you guys at the shows and uh, see what you mod up with these uh, new boards and these new systems. Uh, just let you know, I'm coming for you. Um, you know, go go and just look at what, what you see here. You know, passive uh, heat sinks, uh, four phase power uh, switching. This is, this is just fantastic uh, overclocking software. I'm just so excited with what they did with this board. I just cannot tell you. Um, on onboard CPU temp monitor, that is so nice. So it, it's uh, get out there, get this board, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Talk to you soon.